to grow it. First time I saw a burning wheel, I was at a game shop in Rockville, Maryland, and I was like, what's this? And the guy said, that's the hardest role-playing game anyone's ever written. Don't buy that. <laughs> and so I was kind of infa infatuated with it for a while, and eventually bought it, and couldn't understand it, and then gold came out, and I understood that, and I was like, I'm going to go to Con because there I'll actually find someone to run it for me. Oh, man. I, I've so many years ago, I don't remember. I, I think I just stumbled across it and, and found it. Uh, I was playing D&D at the time. I'll tell you what. So I was playing D&D at the time. I got Burning Wheel Classic, uh, introduced my group to it. That group broke up. I don't play with those guys anymore. Got a new group, and it's been Burning Wheel ever since. So I think I found it on the internet or something like that, or a review or something. I stumbled on it, but um, it's, it's changed the way I, I uh, play games. So I was in Boston, and starting to get back into role-playing games after about a 20-year hiatus. And I had a lot of ideas about how uh, games would be better if we could do games that were about stories. I think everybody in role-playing games has thought that at one time or another. I found, uh, through the magic of the internet, a, uh, a group of people that call themselves the Story of Games uh, Boston. And, uh, I went and started hanging out with them and discovered that for the past six or ten years, people have been creating games of just the kind I'd always wanted to see. And that was really cool, except all my dreams of inventing the perfect story game. Well, they'd already been done already. I'd wanted to create the Jane Austen role-playing game, but I'm not sure, so sure it's necessary anymore. I found uh, Burning Wheel way back in uh, the classic era when Ken Height did a review and then I tracked it down, which was less hard than you'd think because I'm pretty close to New York. I found, about, I found out about Burning Wheel when Christian invited me to play in his game. So I first heard of Burning Wheel at one of the Ubercons locally here where I saw a strange young man very slightly try to push his game that didn't look very good to me, to be honest. So... Uh, somewhere along the line, I uh, eventually re fell in the same circles, and then I started hanging out with them more and more. And uh, you know, we just really sort of took over from there, and as we've been gaming together pretty much ever since, about uh, 2005 you know, or so. And uh, it's, we have a great time all the time. It's really good here. So play Burning Wheel. It's lots of fun. Uh, hi there, uh, my name is Wilhelm Fitzpatrick, and I first discovered Burning Wheel in some point in the early 2000s. This uh, strange review popped up on RPGNet about this odd little fantasy game that came in two separate books, and it used, you wrote down your, your actions that you were going to do ahead of time and then compared them, and I was like, that's like plotted movement from ancient war games, you know, how, surely this technology has gone by the wayside, but... This person was selling these books for only $15. That was just crazy. Even if it was a totally sucky game, how could you go wrong for $15? So I ordered it, and these two little books show up. And another friend of mine had ordered it, and I was like, I'm going to take it to this local meetup that we were doing at the time in Seattle, and I'm going to run it for whoever wants to play it. And we played this uh, demo scenario that Luke had online called Von Goten's Predicament, which was all about, there's an orc, on, or no, there's a knight on top of a house, and the house is full of orcs, and if you come near, they're going to kill you, but you just can't let him die. And we had a great time with it, and uh, I ran a campaign of it, and I got to know Luke and came out to New York City a couple years later, and he showed me this crazy thing called the Monster Burner that explained how you could totally tear down all the stats in the game and build anything you wanted, and I've been riding the wave ever since. Hi, I'm Michael S. Miller, and I first encountered Mouse Guard in, not Mouse Guard, uh, Burning Wheel in February of 2002, when um, Luke Crane was at a tiny little table in a back breakfast nook that uh, of a uh, uh, embassy suites in New Jersey, and um, the uh, the convent the the hotel staff in order to save on electricity. There were gamers. What did they really need like lights for? So all the lights were down to half. 
and uh, he's doing these demos of this brand new fantasy game system and I'm a bit of a geek about trying to learn new and different games and um, so uh, my cousin and I who are at the convention are like hey we'll give this thing a shot it could be fun and he hands out these sheets with the tiniest writing imaginable in this half-light condition. Is like, there's everything you need to know. All right, you're an orc. You know, he's an orc, and you're a guy. <laughs> um, I think I first heard about Burning Wheel, um, reading a review on RPG Net of the original Burning Wheel classic, and I mean, I didn't buy it right then, but I read it and kind of it was in the back of my mind. And then a few years later, I started getting into the Forge. I was reading a lot of Chris Chin's blog, and that got me looking at the Forge and got me interested. And I think Burning Wheel Classic ended up being one of the first indie games that I bought. And then I just fell in love with it. I didn't get a chance to play it a lot though. So like whenever I go to cons, I try to always, if there's some Burning Wheel, I always try to do that. I try to run it at cons. Um, and that's why I'm here at Burning Apocalypse. I want to play as much Burning Wheel as humanly possible. I first heard about Burning Wheel when uh, Mouse Guard won the Any. Um, the, I'd been playing some D&D 4th edition, but um, it got to a point where the players told me they didn't really want to, want to play that anymore, so uh, I, this, this happened just at the, all at the same time, so um, I got the Mouse Guard book, read through it, and I figured uh, Burning Wheel was uh, something in the same vein, and uh, I bought it and I loved it. Um, since then I bought a lot of other games, um, played a lot of different games, um, but uh, Burning Wheel is always going to be a favourite of mine, I think. Where the truth went. 